it is time for Thai. We are here at the Oh Nice Thai Restaurant in the Ever Classic Green Meadow Shopping Center in Addison. Immediately upon arrival here, you will be invited by this beautiful dining room. It is simple yet elegant, just lovely appointments throughout. We're even loving the music, like right off the bat. It's this Thai sort of pop thing going on, really nice, cool melodies, perfect volume. It all just sets the stage for what we can just tell is gonna be a lovely dining experience. Cam, the owner, along with his lovely wife, they've owned it for almost three years now. Very hospitable and welcoming people, so we can't wait to see what they have to offer. Please join. So here is a look at our chicken satay being prepared. Beautiful, beautiful. You can see the marinade just cloaking that chicken in the most beautiful way. Nice grooved grill pan, get a nice little sear on that. It's gonna be fantastic. Nice, so the chicken is ready and here is the classic peanut sauce. We see it all coming together. Yes, the chicken satay, which is really a classic Thai dish. Marinated, grilled chicken. They're like strip chunks, nice seared grill marks and absolutely juicy, tender, flavorful. This is a cool look at the, the revelation of these fresh vegetables, beautiful ingredients. Look at these colors. The freshness is just bursting out of these containers. Really a sight to behold. And look at all the prep that goes under this. All this slicing, dicing, cutting. Labor of love for sure, but the quality is going to be very evident. You can just tell by the base ingredients. That's where it all starts. So over here, we've got the makings of a noodle dish that has also been ordered. Yes, clearly second nature to this chef. She has no problem working them noodles. Absolutely gorgeous presentation, just amazing colors. Look at that rainbow. And this, friends, is the national dish of Thailand, Pad Thai. Very nice, yeah, the nice ground chili powder. You can't beat that ground up spicy goodness. And look at that array of veggies in there, along with, um, got some rice, like a fried rice thing happening here. Love the cabbage, little baby corn, carrots, broccoli, fabulous. Ah, there is the red snapper. Okay, so the red snapper accompaniments are making their appearance. As it waits so patiently in its fry basket. And again, just look at the fresh variety we have before us here, and in it goes. There goes the fresh basil, absolute herb perfection. And what's so nice is you can see that sauce that's adorning the bottom of that dish. And you know it's simply an amazing conglomeration of all those flavors together that have been wok tossed. And then it produces this amazing sauce. I'm sure the flavors are going to blow us away. Here is the red snapper. Um, all in all, very nice filet that they give you. And it is fried but lightly, which is nice. It goes in the deep fryer, but not for very long. Then they proceed to do the magic walk toss thing with an array of amazing vegetables. So we have onions, mushrooms, bamboo shoots, green beans, and when it comes to peppers, we also have green peppers, red peppers. There's even an orange pepper here that I devoured. And we also have jalapenos, which give it a very nice spice. Um, this with the brown rice that we've asked for, which is the top notch kind of brown rice, the real stuff, makes for an amazing combination here. And I've just reserved a couple of these lovelies on the side to share with you my friend Basil. Basil's everybody's friend, really, and it's a huge part of the Thai flavor profile. They have several dishes, several preparations here that feature basil. It adds such a lovely dynamic, and in this dish, it is perfect with everything else. So here's the beginnings of our Pad Kimao. So the noodles and a whole assortment of amazing veggies. They come to life in this walk of dreams. So here we have a more traditional Thai dish. This would be the Pad K Mao. We understand that the translation of K Mao is drunken. 
Very interesting. And you know why this is, folks? It's because reportedly this dish is something to cure your hangover ills. Hand you never know when you might need to have that tucked in your back pocket. So drunken noodles is another way to describe pad came out. But it is amazing. We've ordered ours with beef. You have your selection of proteins here, including tofu. The beef is seasoned perfectly. I love how the chunks are nice and thin and very lean. There's not a smidgen of fat on this beef at all. Just perfect. Excellent vegetables. We have tomato, cabbage, peppers, onions, carrots. Look at this beautiful broccoli. And of course, our friend Basil makes a beautiful appearance. Look at that lovely oyster mushroom right there. And the noodles here, they of course have a variety of noodles here at Oh Nice Thai. You can get the traditional, I like the pad thai noodles, which are the thinner egg noodles, or they have several dishes with these. These I have a real weakness for. I'm just going to have to admit that. I love these wide rice noodles. They're like rice ribbons. What is more fun than a rice ribbon? Not many things. And what's so nice is it soaks up like a sponge all the flavors of all these veggies and spices together. We all know that presentation really is a huge part of the culinary experience. So all of the colors that come out in all these dishes is very, very impressive. When it comes to the peppers, I love that they have green, red, as well as orange peppers. And the orange pepper in particular, this is a special creature. Have you ever noticed at the grocery store that you have your green peppers, your red peppers, and then the orange one is like five times the price? It's always just baffled me like, oh, what's with the orange pepper? He's exotic, and it's nice to see that these dishes will, will have all three. All three of the, the main pepper colors are represented, including the exotic more expensive orange one. I like that. Speaking of the taste as well of the drunken noodles here in particular, the pad came out. This, as well as several other dishes, have varying spice levels that you can request. So on a scale of one to 10, they'll accommodate your spice limit. The bro and I settled on a four of 10 for this evening. And I'll have to say it was completely accurate. It's like yeah, this is a four. You know how you just know? It's not like it's too weak and it's not crazy like, oh my God, this is an eight, help. It really is a four. So that was very well done. Nice that you have those options with the spice level. So I have a little bit of tingling going on here. It's just right. But what a nice treat to then have this contrast, which is their Thai iced tea. Super refreshing. You can see that it has a cream in it, but very light, very refreshing, nothing decadently rich. And the tea is sweetened and it's delicious. You really get the essence of the tea coming here. So this with the food, it really pairs together very, very nicely. Let's kick it off here with the appetizers, checking out the Oh Nice Thai menu. So this page of appetizers here, some great stuff that we all have come to know and love. Of course, you got to have egg rolls, crab rangoon, pot stickers, shumai, which are also fun little dumplings. We even have edamame, Japanese touch, and fish cake, so that's nice. A couple different Asian things. And then what we had this evening was the chicken satay. Here we have a selection of 11 different salads. And if you just check out the ingredients that are at work here, you really have an amazing selection. So we have salads that are based on some fruit, like apple and papaya. We have seafood selections, some that, that have a variety of seafood, like shrimp, squid, crab, and such. And then other proteins, grilled beef, ground chicken, really an amazing selection here of salads. We have our soups here. They're very proud of a homemade chicken broth that they have here with noodles and a selection of protein. And then the Thai variety type soups, Tom Ka, Tom Yum, very well-known Thai soups. So here we have the rice dishes and the curries. You can see that for both of these, you have your selection of proteins, tofu, chicken, pork, and beef, shrimp, as well as seafood combo. So all kinds of options here for you to be really flexible and explore the, the different combos. So we've got fried rice variety there, and then the curries. The panang curry is reported to be one of their top dishes here. We have our noodle section here. So, so very, very Thai. Pad Thai, of course, Thailand's national dish. And then we have other selections here. 
with the glass noodles, the wide rice noodles like we had earlier, and then a whole collection of vegetables. Already today, I believe I've said more than once, array of vegetables, because that's just what you have here with all these dishes. And as I rattle off the vegetables, just in the couple of dishes that we have, I know I missed a couple because there are so many vegetables. It's just a bounty and it makes for a beautiful culinary experience, not just to look at, but of course to eat as well. The entree page here shows you the flavor profile of these dishes that again, you can choose to mix with the protein of your choice. At the top, you see the basil, very prominent, and the little asterisk at the end of the basil word there has to do with the spice. So again, on a scale of one to 10, you can choose your spice profile. And the owner has actually shared with us that their spices here may tend to run a little bit more hot than the American palate is used to. So just be aware of that, but they are very accommodating and duly warn you accordingly. And here we have a really neat page of chef's specialties, really neat stuff. You can see we have things like duck, fish, steak, teriyaki preparations that most of us are familiar with, but then some more unique items. We of course enjoyed the basil red snapper that was just outstanding. And then you can cap off your meal in a true Thai way with these fun Thai desserts. Thai custard, coconut banana, mango with sticky rice, and a Thai donut. So really for the all around Thai experience, they have it all here. have so enjoyed our visit here at Onice oh Thai. The Thai cuisine flavor profile is just extraordinary. You have so many different proteins, and then you have different herbs, spices, and then practically every vegetable known to man is represented here somewhere. All this comes into play, and it's just utterly a joy to have all these different combinations and all these different elements at work. Really makes for a beautiful culinary experience here. Uh, that along with the atmosphere and even the additional spices that they have on the table. You have a couple of different pepper pastes, both very, very delicious, and a ground pepper. Even that is something special here at Oh Nice Thai. They make it a point to cook their peppers first before they grind them, which pretty much ratchets up the heat to a whole other level. So even that is something that they do very specially here. So really just a wonderful place. We highly encourage you folks to indulge in own nice Thai for yourselves. You will not only be treated to an amazing culinary experience, but you'll have warm, friendly, genuine hospitality. Cam and his lovely wife are the owners of this place and his wife insists on doing all the cooking herself because she is a perfectionist she knows her thai cuisine and she wants to do it herself to perfection she won't just hand that off to anyone else so that's just special right there so friends you must make the trek up the avenue to experience oh nice thai for yourselves we are in the green meadow shopping center on lake street in addison such a short but worthwhile trip up the avenue